In today's video, I'm going to show you how to georeference a scanned map in QGIS. Before I go through this process on, on how to georeference, uh, I would like to explain something about georeferencing, what georeferencing is. And it is a process of assigning real world or projected coordinate system to each pixel of a raster image. So previously, the raster image has no any coordinates uh, in, of the real world. So if you want to uh, have the coordinates of the real world and those pixels of the raster image, you can use georeferencing method. So this georeferencing method can be processed in QGIS. So this is a, is a simple or a brief description what georeferencing is. So now, when we come to on how to georeference here in cages, before you uh, start georeferencing, you have to have a georeference plugin. And normally it is here in raster georeferencer. I have this georeferencer plugin. But if you don't have your reference uh, plugin, you can go to plugin and manage and install plugins. And you can type, uh, for example, if you if it's not installed, you can go to all and search like if then you can find it is here. So you can install it if it is not installed. In my case, it is already installed. But sometimes it is unchecked. So click check, check box this one and check it, then close. Then you go to raster, then georeferencer. So click georeferencer. Then you will get this window. So this is a window or a dialog box for georeferencing purpose. So here you can see a button called open raster. So you go to open raster. I have one uh, raster image or scanned image. This is a kind of uh, scanned map. If, uh, it is a geological map, for example. And if you, you can zoom in the coordinates, the, the main point here in georeferencing is to identify to identify the coordinates for georeferencing purpose, or which is called ground control points. So this is a ground control point table. When you add or you get this information from the map itself, so you pick this value and give a real value or a real coordinate value from the map. From the map. For example, in this case, 37 degree and 30 minutes and Six degree and zero seconds. This at seven degree thirty minutes is distinct or x value or longitude, and this six is a nosing or latitude value. So this button is add point. So you have to add this point. Click this add point and go to the the intersection between the, those values, then click. Then you will get here a, a message box or a, a dialog box like intermap coordinates. So you can read inter X and Y coordinate, uh, DMS, degree millisecond, or degree decimal, or projected coordinates in meter, which correspond with the selected point on the image. In this case, you can see it is in degree uh, in degree minutes, but uh, it is easier to convert DD as well. Alternatively, click the button with icon of, of the pencil and then click the corresponding point on the map canvas of QGIS to get the coordinates of that. Now, I use directly the value from here. So the east is 37. 30 minutes means 30 minutes means like 
30, or you can use 30, 37 space, 30. And like here, zero, zero, so zero, zero, you can do like this. Here, six, space, zero, 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 zero. Then we can zoom in or zoom last. Then again, we can zoom into another corner here. I'm taking the four corners. At least you have to give four ground control points. So here, the map, in most cases, when the map is prepared, there might be some errors, but uh, you don't have any choice to, for this. So you have to approximate or you have to take the, this value. It, you, may, you may have error, but not uh, it should not be uh, large. Or at least you can you have to, you can minimize you have to minimize the error. But everything here when you do this uh, georeferencing, you you have error. But that should that should not be uh, large, or that that should not be high value. So the x here is thirty nine, thirty nine. Okay, you can leave it and see. Then okay. Then zoom last. Then zoom to the other corner, the third corner. Here. Then. Then click the add point and somewhere here. So you give the value from the map, 39. And uh, the same, the east thing is the same, the north thing is change it to five. Then zoom last. This, and then zoom to the fourth and the last corner. Then click this one and uh, click the corner value and here 37 uh, point five. You can hit like that or you can give 37 space 30 space zero zero like that. And here five. You know. So you can also give the you, you try a projected coordinate system like UTM here in this case, but it has no any corner like uh, here, for example, it has in the way in the y axis, it has value, in the x axis, it has also value, but you cannot see the intersection. So that would be that would make uh, a high error than this one. If you don't have this value, you don't have a chance to to georeference. So that you have to do, you have to sketch the line properly before you bring this map to this georeferencing. Then you have to take that value. Okay. Now here I have already made four points. So. For the time being, it's enough, but you can add more values uh, here. For example, you can add the central values somewhere here, or here, or here, or here. You can add those, but it's enough for now. Then you have to go to setting, transform, transformation setting. Then you give the transformation type. It depends on the points you give. In my case, I choose polynomial one, linear, and uh, the coordinate system, this one. Yeah. Then uh, to save the file, you have to go to the folder and you can uh, save the file with the appropriate name as you want, and depending on your uh, data. Then click OK. 
then the error you can see it is three. So you click OK, you can see three pixels. So that's uh, not that uh, high. So you keep that one. And the last point here is that you have to process the georeferencing, which is this start georeferencing. Then you click this button. Now it, it, it indicates the progress of this georeferencing. Now you can see here the image is already the georeferenced image and image and uh, map image is already loaded here in the canvas and uh, in the layers panel. Then, then close this georeferencer window. Then you can see the value is changed here, the coordinates, you can see the coordinates is changing. Yeah, you can check, for example, here, the lower uh, Y value is five. So if you come here and check the value, it is uh, around 38.2425, you see, 2499, which is good, which is okay. Yeah, so now you can use this map. You can, for example, digitize the geologic uh, or lithologic units, geologic units like this one. You can digitize some values like roads and uh, some other uh, linear features from from the map. So in in the in the next video, I will show you how to uh, extract polygons, lines, and pointers from the jury set image in QGIS. Thank you very much for attending. I hope you enjoyed with this video as well. And please don't forget to subscribe to get more videos in GIS in QGIS.